to another video on CMOS transistor or CMOS construction. What I'm showing you right now uh, summarizes what I explained in the last video. This one is for creating NMOS material in silicon. Where we had phosphorus with an extra electron, we bombard those atoms onto a silicon lattice and we have these free electrons. So we have availability of free electron and this is called N and N plus. N plus means very heavy doped. The doping means this impurity that we are adding into silicon. Then this one on this side is P or P plus. Depends on how much doping we do. We have boron, which has one empty place here. This is called hole and the hole means we can move electrons into this position and create a current flow. So here we have absence of free electrons or what we say majority of the carriers, majority carriers are holes. Here majority carriers are electrons. This is N, this is P. Electrons, when they move in one direction, relative to holes we say they are created in opposite direction or they move in opposite direction so basically these are really the electrons that move but we say holes can move um, which is not like a, it's actual particle actual particle is electron this is our gate now gate when i say gate sometimes we call transistor as a gate as well or as a switch or a gate it doesn't mean just this gate we mean the whole gate so we have N plus, we have N plus, we have P plus here. The interesting thing that is formed, when I explain you, it is important that current doesn't flow this side. Current flows this side. By having an N and P, we see a prohibited region is created here when we apply a particular voltage here. And today's topic, today video, the topic of today's video is this N and P. So here we see that this PN is kind of here. Even though P is this shape and this shape, I'm just representing that. Okay, over here, let's look at them. Just particular this area. We have, we have N. Then we have P. Come on, right here. P plus or N plus, it's okay. So let's study this NP by combining them, how we can create this prohibited area or depletion region, because we want to stop electrons here. You probably be thinking, okay, by creating that, we will create a stop here. So how the electrons move here? Yes, I will explain that. But let's understand this depletion region because those are really important for our transistor to behave in an ideal switch way. So here we come, the PN thing. This, this circuit is a PN diode. So I'm sure you have heard about it or learned it, the PN diode. So basically we are going to learn the functionality of the PN diode. All right. Stay with me here. Oops, what is this? Okay, let's look into this circuit. Wow, I don't know why I had this one. That's why I was wondering. Um, let's look into this. One. So we have P. P means it has a lot of holes means absence of electrons so whenever now i say holes that mean absence of electron and holes will have positive charge because those are empty places where they can attract electrons so attracting electron means positive charge here we have more free electrons so we call it a negative lot of more electrons here so more holes here electrons here i just put few example but it really depends on the doping level so what happens when we connect P to the positive 
terminal of the battery. An N which is N type or negative to the negative terminal of the battery. Or they, these are connected or just do a ground here or ground here. means the same thing. So what happens now? So before we, we have this thing, I already drew this, but just assume initially, very initially, when you bring P and N together, <laughs> okay, the whole thing moved. It's okay. Let's move it there. Okay. So when we bring them initially, uh, let's assume what is happening. I think I, I meant to add another picture. So let's say initially there is no voltage here. Because initially we're not applying any voltage. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Um, nothing. It's not connected to anything. We just hold on that. Okay. I reverse it. Initially we bring P and N junction together. So one material is on the N and P. We just connect them together. What happens? What happens is these electrons which are a lot, I just drew few of them, will try to diffuse into P region to try to fill those holes, right? So what happens is around the boundary, let's create a boundary here. I mean, there's no like a boundary of the countries, but somewhere around, let's assume it's a straight line. So what happens is from this region, already the, the border region, okay. First of all, electrons which are present here, uh, it will take a while for these electrons to go all the way there. So immediately what will happen when the migration happens, uh, yeah, migration is a good term. When the migration happens, you connect the two countries together, do you open the borders? And these guys, first of all, these guys will start running here. So electron will start running this color, into this side, these ones. And similarly, these guys will also start running here. But first of all, these guys will make this transition. We'll go here. The neighboring holes there here. Just assume there are holes in this area. So, which these electrons are filling. And so what we say that when they fill and these holes will go in the other side. Yeah. So this is a diffusion happening right now. These guys are gradually diffusing into this. And these guys into this. But what happens as these guys diffuse? What happens is, as these electrons here, this border area, leave here, their place, we get a positive charge builds up here. And as the holes in this region try to diffuse into this region and region, a negative charge is built up here. So instead of this migration keeps happening, what happens is very quickly, very quickly around somewhere the boundary of it, Something like this happens as a result of the migration of the of the of the people um, of the carriers uh, around the boundary here. Yeah. So this is positive and they're negative. And as soon as this positive and this kind of this start having a bond between each other, so they build an electrical potential here here in this region. 
that this car sort of create a new fence here and they stop for the diffusion so they kind of block this end cannot uh, electrons further cannot go here because now they it, it's really block like this so we typically say a barrier a potential electric potential is created here which stops for the movement so that's what happened on equilibrium um, when uh, you bring P and N together without applying any voltage here. Now let me save this thing. Let's rub this one. Bring this thing here. Paste it. We'll leave it for the next discussion. What happens now? Let's see. We connect this to terminal to the battery. Positive charge, negative, grounded, negative, positive. This is what I was saying earlier on. This is, and I. This is how I remember it. P, which is p, p to positive and to negative mean. Now what happens? Now there's a mm, positive charge here. What happens? What happens is these electrons, these holes are, they are repelled from here to this side. So we are creating a bit of more what we call it now drifting. So all these guys now this this charge that we had these electrons are kind of pulled in this direction now there is a force here now it's like they were creating this potential here and a bonding and stopping further a, a heavy fence to stop further movement or migration we are breaking this one through this positive and this negative. This negative is in the same way is going to attract these guys to that side. So this fence is falling apart and uh, holes, electrons are drifting. They're not diffusing as before in a natural kind of way. Now we are applied a force. Hey, drift them, we just drag them on that side and holes this side. So what happens is, and maybe I should rub it, eventually now current starts flowing. So electrons move this side and hold this side. So this thing breaks and now we have perfect conduction is happening. But what if I already made it so messy. This is why I wanted to have this thing. So let's say now we have we create this the way you connect battery is Kind of now what we did a positive P negative N to positive. What happens now? So what happens is let's say in equilibrium we had this potential. Now with negative here, these electrons instead of being attracted, which was this case, now they are pushed toward this side. And any of this, um, these holes, they are, you know, uh, pushed toward this side. So we, what we're doing kind of now, holes going that side, electron going that side. So this potential now increases. There's a strong force here. 
So you have carrier this side moving there, this side moving there, and this region where not much movement happens um, is actually kind of depletion region, which you say is has increased. These are pulled, they're further pulled here. These are further pulled here, so they make even a stronger bond. So they really make a wall here that stops any further um, movement or continuous flow of electron. So this is when your P and N are connected in this way is called reverse bias. This is called forward biasing. And if you look back here, not here, yeah here, back to our n and p and the way we have connected things is this is ground this is ground so ideally if this is at a higher potential than this one we have this region as forward biased but if this one is not at a higher potential this one so this is not as reverse biased as the example i showed you because we're not applying any positive voltage but because both are ground, the potential difference is not there. So they are still in a reverse bias way, not as strongly. So this region is a depletion region. It's a movement of electron is really blocked here. All the way on this region as well as this region. I think that is, that's enough for, uh, for this video. Uh, I thought I would cover all this in three videos, but it seems like there are a lot of videos. But these are important concepts. Gradually, we are studying each bit. So today's was about PN junction and diode operation here. In the next video, now we will look into how we can create electron flow here, which is really the working of and how to turn on and off a transistor. All right, that's it. See you next time.